New details in the past hour on the deaths of two women found in a pond near Chaska last night. The medical examiner now says the cousins died from accidental drowning. Carla Holt spoke with her family. She joins us from our newsroom with the latest on that. Carla? Randy, tonight questions linger as planning moves forward for the funerals of the two teenage cousins. She was very strong, brave, loving, fun. A search for a sister and a cousin ending for Habza Abdi in the most tragic way. Not just one, but two. Two loved ones. Both, both left. It's shattering. Broken by the loss of both Bushra Abdi and Zainab Hafsa Abdallah, cousins whose deaths have also sparked a new search for answers. They're looking into it. That's all I'm getting. Habsa says police told the family the teenage cousins called 911 shortly after they left their respective jobs at Amazon in a local nursing home around 3 a.m. Saturday. And the family says police told them the 911 call did not reveal the cousins' location. But today, the family is wondering how urgently police responded. Last night, the Chaska police chief said they're leaving no stone unturned. We have no reason to believe that this is nothing but a very sad tragedy, a traffic accident. The chief also did not confirm a 911 call was ever made, but also today the greater Somali community is calling for clarity on the tragedy. Is there any tra traffic cameras to show angles of um, as them approaching this area? And if anybody else knows anything or heard anything that, that night, that could come forward and help the law enforcement. I called the Chaska Police Department several times today and did not hear back. This afternoon, we did receive a statement that reads, in part, additional information will be made available at the appropriate time going forward. The family has not yet set a date for the funerals of the two women. Randy. All right. Thank you, Carla. Mm -hmm.